What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Talking Wrestling TV. Back at it again tonight with the Monday Night Raw review. Please be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe. And we're five days away from the biggest shit show of the year, WrestleMania 36, guys. And before I get started in this review, guys, I would like to say, uh, how the hell is WrestleMania too big for one night? Man, I got to listen to Michael Cole or whoever the hell it was on the announcer team tonight. Get to saying all those damn matches, man. Man, we in for a disaster of a show Sunday and Saturday, guys, with WrestleMania. Man, we got some horrible matches on this damn card, guys. Who gives a damn about Austin Theory and Angel Garza against the Street Profits? Alistair Black, Bobby Lashley. King Corbin and Elias. Man, you gotta be kidding me. WrestleMania? And we getting these horrible ass matches? This has gotta be the worst build up to WrestleMania in this company history. But that's enough about WrestleMania right now. Let's go ahead and get into this Monday Night Raw review. And I mean, they did a good job for what it was, guys, giving us a night two of promos. That's pretty much all this show was. Just another bunch of promos, guys. But anyway, we open up with The Undertaker, guys. He cut one hell of a promo tonight on AJ Styles. He uh, he even stated that AJ Styles waited to come to WWE to after Austin Rock, Triple H, Booker T, Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels were all done. And that he was a big fish in a small pun. Really sending shots at AJ Styles for his time in TNA, guys. But for you who didn't know, AJ Styles in TNA, he did defeat Kurt Angle in his prime and Booker T. And, you know, AJ Styles is one of the best to ever do it in this business, guys. And you can kind of tell throughout this promo that The Undertaker really has a lot of respect for AJ Styles. But he will also state that he was going to finish AJ Styles, guys. And he told him to bring the ass clowns, Gallows and Anderson with him, and they all gonna rest in peace in the barnyard match at WrestleMania. Then they would take us to the WrestleMania 35 winner take all matchup between Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Ronda Rousey from last year. Who really gives a damn? And then our first actual matchup of tonight will take place with Alistair Black. Knocking the living hell out of this jobber named Jason Cade. Guys, let me know in the comment section, have you ever heard of Jason Cade? Because I haven't. Then we will have a recap of Seth Rollins' great promo from a week ago on Raw that led up to our six-man tag team matchup between the Street Profits and Kevin Owens versus Angel Garza, Seth Rollins, and Austin Theory, who took the place of Andrade. They say Andrade suffered some kind of rib injury, so he's going to be out for a while. But this would be a pretty good matchup, guys. And it would be Seth Rollins ending this matchup. Well, after the matchup, Kevin Owens would pick up the win for the team. And after the matchup, guys, Seth Rollins would nail Kevin Owens with one hell of a curve stump. And after the commercial break, guys, we would hear Kevin Owens in the ring. And he would cut a pretty good promo as well, guys. Pretty much just saying that at WrestleMania, he's going to take his WrestleMania moment from Seth Rollins. And I think this is going to end up being a good match. At least I hope it does. Especially with these promos that both men have been doing the last two weeks. Have gave this match some much needed fuel going into WrestleMania, guys. Then we will get Edge's promo, which will be awesome as well. He brings up that he just brings the best out of Randy Orton and that Randy Orton hasn't been this good in about nine years which some of that was true guys because the Randy Orton we've been getting the last few years hasn't been the Viper that I grew to love guys and that's the legend killer of course but now it seems like Randy Orton's back to his old ways he is just taking credit for that they should have a pretty good matchup this weekend at WrestleMania as well then we will get Oscar guys versus Kaden Carter who shouldn't even been in this damn matchup, guys. She would get squashed and she would be made to tap out by Oscar. Then WWE took us back to the Survivor Series. Brock Lesnar, Rey Mysterio, WWE Championship matchup that shouldn't have never happened. 
who really gives a damn about that? I didn't even watch the match, guys. I hopped my ass in the shower just to keep it all the way real. And then I just came back to see the ending, which was the same old shit from Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. But it would be a pretty good promo from Paul Heyman. And he would state, guys, that the Go Home show next year going into WrestleMania, that Brock Lesnar is going to be the last person we see on Monday Night Raw with the damn title. If that's the case, guys, then I don't know where WWE is going after this year's WrestleMania. It's your boy Talking Wrestling TV coming in, giving you guys my quick thoughts on tonight's Monday Night Raw. Please be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I'm out.